when I've got a solid GPS feed, when everything is, is secure and working the way it is, uh, I'm going to be the most lethal guy on the battlefield. I don't think people understand the magnitude of what the GPS program does for the world, not just the warfighter, but again, for everyday, for everyday people. That gets taken for granted because it has been so reliable for us. I don't have this particular instance where like GPS saved the day because it's just always been part of what we're doing. Today, no one even considers GPS not being an option or it not working. The world is dependent on the global positioning system. The United States Air Force and Lockheed Martin prepare to launch the first of the constellation of advanced GPS-3 satellites. The first of the initial 10 satellite GPS-3 constellation was shipped to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida for its launch this December. My role in the transportation of the satellite was to coordinate with Lockheed Martin to ensure that everything on the government side was in place to move the satellite from the Lockheed Martin facility in Littleton, Colorado to Titusville, Florida and move that to the AstroTech facility and ensuring that military aircraft was in place, funding was set, so Lockheed had everything they needed to move that space vehicle and we were there to support them. The process of planning the transportation of a satellite takes anywhere from two to four months of in-depth, detailed schedules, hour by hour of what's going to happen from lifting the space vehicle onto a truck to weighing the, the space vehicle in the container to step-by-step -step processes of taking the satellite onto the C-17. It's a grueling process and Lockheed Martin did a fantastic job in, in doing that step-by-step. The GPS-3 system will be the most powerful and resilient GPS satellite ever put on orbit. The system will have three times greater accuracy, eight times improved anti-jamming capability, and a new civil signal compatible with other international navigation satellite systems. So the biggest thing something like GPS does is I know where everybody is, and it takes something the size of a watch, and now every soldier knows exactly where they are. And they don't even need to know what those numbers mean, they just need to tell them to me, and I'll know where they are. You see that, like the war the last 15 years, you're doing these danger close attacks where it's the other side of the street or the next building over, uh, and the precision that we have now is so much more important than it was. So if you look at you know World War II, where it takes 20,000 you know bombs to hit a target, now today it's, it's one weapon, one kill with increased standoff and reliability. The GPS-3 constellation, when fully completed, will be available to more than 4 billion users worldwide. Everyone is focused on getting those space vehicles up there and it's a one team, one fight type of attitude and we're looking forward to getting those up there.